guys and welcome back. I introduce to you Better Minecraft. So, welcome to the world that is better Minecraft. We have just straight up jumped right into this pack. You can see there are several different things already that you can see in our hotbar. And, uh, well, this is just how the pack is configured. Look at this. We have buildings over here. And uh, this is supposed to be Minecraft, but better. Now, honestly, with all jokes aside, um, this pack looks really good. This pack is pretty nice looking as far as the cosmetic side of things go there was something in here oh <gasps> okay 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 i'm sorry dude you have a wooden are you seriously gonna beat me up with a wooden sword who do you think you are anyway oh no he's got friends oh no two of them i don't know if i could do two of them uh but anyways this is better minecraft and it has a lot of cosmetic sort of mods added into it that uh sort of make this i mean it's still a vanilla-ish style but definitely makes it modded feeling and we're gonna die wow as you can see <sighs> we're we've already made it oh my goodness um so yeah we, we're, we're probably gonna die a lot uh there are some added mods in here that increase the difficulty of things add some bosses look at these beautiful butterflies at least we have some nice things to look at as we die <laughs> a lot um so over here we have some signs maybe we can sneak no I'm hoping we can punch these guys to death. Two of them oh, make it kind of hard. They kind of move side to side. But I want to loot their stuff. You know what? Can I get in here? <laughs> can I just go in and just shut the door? No! Stay! Ah, stay! Where, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Are they eating? They are eating. Nope, I'm out. <laughs> they have food. I don't have food. Okay, there's nothing good in there anyway, so I'm out of this. Uh, this over here looks like a dragon's nest. <laughs> Which is a thing. Uh, we're, we're starving. We have no food on us. There's a dragon thing over here. So, ooh, and a tower. Okay, yeah. By the way, there is a lot of structures in this, apparently. And I'm kind of down with that. Ooh, also, look at this. Some dripstone. Because this, uh, by the way, this has some mods in it that basically add the 117 update, the Caves and Cliffs update. So there's a lot of stuff underground as opposed to being above ground. Let's grab this beautiful wood and let's see if I can't somehow craft my way over here. I like that it has the dark UI mod, which is really handy. Can we get up here? There might be something worth grabbing in this chest. Now, normally I'd be really scared of this. I don't know if there's dragons in this pack or not, but this looks dragon-esque. And right away, we have iron armor. So And iron. Perfect. That'll help out a little bit, at least. Oh! Unless we step into that stuff. I have... <sighs> it is so weird seeing your dead body laying on the ground <laughs> the ability for you to loot it weird very weird okay let's equip back up um and all we need is a little bit of wood maybe we can make ourselves an iron pickaxe and get into this there's, we can grab some acacia over here we'll get some of this um there's not any type of ore excavation as far as i know um for me mining in here maybe you know it might be a thing i think there's a way to harvest the whole tree i don't know but uh by breaking like the bottom block 
But as far as like Orcs Vader goes, nope. But this right here, this tower might be promising. Let's head up into this tower and see what we can find. Also, is this a village? There's a regular village. Okay, so this tower is going to be a little tricky. Got a... Oh, man. It's got an interesting way of getting up here, that's for sure. Um, We kind of have to slide across and make our way up this tower. Boy, this, this could lead to death real quick. You're not fast enough. <laughs> and we have no food. Oh, man. Can we... Is there a way to... To walk up blocks? No. Oh, man. I missed that mod that lets you climb. So I have made it up to the tower. A waystone. Actually, that's kind of nice. I don't have a pick for it. Ooh, and a compass and all kinds of stuff. By the way, we do sort of have a guidebook in here. And all we have to do is complete this. And we get ourselves a few things. One of those is this book, which is the beginning, which talks a little bit about the pack here. And it gives it a little bit of lore, talking about the 117 cave update, tons of new dungeons and bosses to fight, all of your, in all of the dimensions. Use your antique atlas, which is the world map, to log your adventures. Um, so we did receive the world map, the antique atlas. Ooh, very nice. Um, and this thing is actually really cool. I've used it before, and it reminds me of like, it's like a Zelda-ish kind of map. You can set waypoints and all kinds of fun stuff, and uh, mark dungeons and all kinds of craziness. So... Pretty cool, actually. Now, getting down from here. A uh, little bit more tedious, but I think I can do it. I think, yeah, I think I got this. I was honestly heading down from here, and I almost forgot to get the waypoint. Oh, thank goodness I have a little bit of wood to be able to make some stuff, like a crafting table. Ooh, it's an acacia crafting table. Very pretty. And we can hopefully make ourselves an iron pick. Look at that. So this is very vanilla ish as far as um, like blocks and stuff go. So it's going to be very much like vanilla with a lot of added like uh, quality of life stuff. So and also there are some very heavily modded things in here as far as bosses and stuff go. But other than that, it's like a vanilla plus 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 pack. It's like definitely on the cusp of being like a full on like Archie, uh, a full on like RPG style mod pack, which is pretty cool. Let's check out this village. They, there's apparently terracotta. Okay, so villagers. I don't know. Do I need to befriend them? Can I steal from them? Like, I'm going to steal from them anyways. Like, regardless, I could, I'm could. i not even going to ask. I'm going to take this while I'm at it because I might use that later on for building some sort of base. So I'm not really seeing any villagers, but hopefully this is more friendly than the other area that we were in earlier. Let's take a look. Are there friendly faces here? Not seeing it. Ooh, there's a. Uh, what are you? Gazelle? I thought that's what you were. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to say it. You know, you got. I may have said my my animals wrong. A kiln. What is a kiln gonna give us? <gasps> Ooh, brick. What is this? A bandana. Is it? Can we wear this? Is it a thing we can wear on our head? <gasps> We straight up have a bandana. Look at this. By the way, third person has never looked cooler. <laughs> this has a third person mod. Wow, this village is huge. <gasps> and we have another waystone. Okay. Yeah, this is this is pretty nice. When you get two waystones right off the bat. Oh, you can't beat that. So it's becoming nighttime. Now there are villagers here. This is a villager guard. So I need to be careful. And uh, maybe not punch them. Also, it's getting dark and I have no telling what spawns at night. So I need to find a bed as soon as possible. Oh boy. Am I going to have a hard time finding a bed? I may be able to steal them from the villagers without the villagers getting mad at me. Okay, I stole it from the villager. No one's mad. You can leave. My bed. <laughs> My bed. <laughs> you will no longer steal the bed from me. Oh, I thought that was a guard. Okay, so I can trade with them. Which is very nice. And what is this over here? Oh, that's a sawmill. An actual sawmill. Ah, okay. 
So it adds some nice things like the uh, the quirk variants of stuff for building. That's fairly cool. I'm so glad we found this village early on because as far as food goes, villages are the best thing for finding food. We have basically bread right here. Like this is a bread supply. Thank goodness. Now crafting table. Make another one of those. Plop this bad boy down and bread. Oh, just so much bread. <laughs> and or we could trade with villagers with it. Like that's also a bonus. But now we have a pretty sustainable amount, like, amount of food. Like, this is going to last us a little while. I can't believe there's, like, a pillager thing this close. Look at this. This close to this village. This is a pillager. Luckily, he doesn't have, like, a bandana on or anything. But there we go. I ended up killing that guy. Uh, oh, is there more of them in here? Oh, I think there's more of them. So long as there's not one with, like... Oh, so long as there's not one with like a, a banner above their head, I'm okay with killing them. <gasps> oh, these guys are not friendly and hit really hard. Oh, thank goodness we were able to kill him. Okay, so, ooh, there's like some, some special stuff in here. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a loot chest. Yes, please. Look at that sword. Uh, projectile protection. No, I don't know if those are better than what I already have. I don't know. Projectile protection is pretty good. We could turn these into torches. Just in case I don't have a bed on me. So I should probably grab the bed. <laughs> just in case it gets dark again while I'm out of my adventures. Oh, and there's food. More There's potatoes and carrots. Oh, I might want to grab those. What did this draw? This is a, a ravaged scrap. That might be something useful later on. I'm not going to use it for right now, though. But potatoes, I'm going to definitely take those. We have seeds now, carrots and potatoes. Anything else I really don't need that I might want to take? I want to take some bones just in case we find a dog. Ooh, then we'll be good. Ooh, there's another one of those towers. We're in a desert now. Another tower over there. What in the world? Okay. There are so many structures. It is day 574, and I have gone thirsty. Thirsty. But luckily, there's a well literally right here. <laughs> I wonder if inside this well there's actually loot. Oh, no, no. It's just, it's just water. How convenient. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, um, maybe we should try... I, I don't know. There's a tower there, which we've been in one of those towers. They're kind of a pain to get up. But this... There's this massive thing. I have no idea what this is. Like a volcano structure? Oh, wait. That's obsidian. And then another one of these. Um, This is obsidian. This looks dangerous. This really looks dangerous. <laughs> it's like a giant obsidian tentacle sticking up out of the... What? What even? There is... That's so much obsidian right here. What? What? I'm on top of the world. At least I can somewhat see off into the distance. It's not every day you see one of those <laughs> running around. Oh, they drop stuff. I just dropped a feather. What? I'll have to keep an eye on that. They may drop more things. Um, so let's go up here. You know, I, you think with me playing other mod packs that I would be super scared of things like this. Nope. Oh, it's just more iron, though. I will take that. That's six iron now. We can basically make an iron axe. And I've barely touched the surface of this mod pack. What? You know what? That's the whole beauty of adventure, though. Like, if, as long as you can go adventuring, you have some food on you. Like, we have the, the lovely bread here. You should be fine. Like, and I should be able to scavenge more stuff up. Is this a... What? Is this a trap? This looks just like a trap. Hold up a moment. Ho Hold on. <laughs> Hold we can sit here and just chill. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you hit the Z key, you can sit down. Yep, we're just chilling. The big question is, what could possibly be in this chest? Is it beach-themed items? It's just bottles of water. <laughs> what? What? Why is there just a saddle setting here? Uh, okay. I will take a saddle for free. Thank you. Just literally out in the open. Oh. 
Okay, now I know why there's a saddle here. The, the, the terrain just hadn't generated yet. It just literally popped in. <laughs> just popped out of nowhere. Okay, this looks really interesting. This literally just popped out of nowhere. Um. Okay. Wow. Uh, lots of loot. Oh, wow. Okay. I am, uh, am I, am I going crazy? Am I hallucinating? This feels like I'm hallucinating simply because it just popped out of thin air. I'm, I'm, uh-oh. I'm going to go ahead and sleep now just because I have a bad feeling about this area. I hear, I hear bad noises. Please. I have a feeling that this is like a pillager thing. Yeah, I hear them. And there's probably a spawner, isn't there? What are you? Oh my! He is shooting fireworks. Uh, no thank you. Okay. There's protection to boots. Those are... Oh, those would be good to combine with what I have. We don't need these boots. Um, string is probably gonna be useful along with all of this iron. Jeez. Yeah, that guy is straight up shooting rockets. Okay. Well, I have invaded the wrong house, it seems. What in the world? No, no, no! Oh, man, that does a lot of damage. Holy moly. Please don't. Oof. <laughs> that does so much damage. What did I get into? Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to die here. There's a spawner right there. Look at these builds though. I am, uh, I'm done for here. We have all this loot, but I feel like I'm done for. We have only one escape and it's this way. Let's go, let's get out of here. It's too much. I marked it on my map as cool place. There is a snake right there. Dude, it's tongue. Look at its tongue. Don't even. It's a rat. It's a rattlesnake. Bruh, don't, don't, don't do it. I'm out of here. I'm not even going to chance it. I guarantee it could probably kill me quickly. Now this I can handle. Cookies. Thank you for the cookies. I am gracious for that. Guys, no joke. There are buildings popping up out of nowhere. What even is this? What? What? How can I even build to compete with these like jar gigantuan structures? What is this thing? I don't even want to look at anything else. I just want to look at this. What's oh, a name tag? I have a feeling we're gonna find a lot of name tags. What in the world? Stripped birch wood. That doesn't even look like stripped birch wood. All right, here's another well. This one looks like kind of modded. Nope, still nothing there. I'm always like, is there something at the bottom of the well? I don't even, wow, that is a magnificent structure. Really puts this village to shame. <laughs> what is that? Oh my gosh. I mean, just, just look at this. Like, what even? How massive, you know this is full of spawners. You, it, it's so appealing, but you know it's full of spawners. Oh my goodness. Look at all the pelicans. Do they, do they fish for food? Oh, if this thing just like ducked down and grabbed an actual fish that was down here, that would be so cool. That right there is a nope. That is a nope. <laughs> I'm backing up. I don't want nothing to do. No, no, get out of here. I don't want nothing to do with that thing. What in the world is that? Heck no. No, dude, what? 
The flowers are trying to kill me. Now, these guys, on the other hand, these guys are super adorable. Look at these little lizards. Look how cute they are. Yeah, not not that like nightmare fuel that was over there. I'm I'm gonna stay away from that thing. I, I don't want nothing to do with that big bug. Oh, that spells trouble up there. Oh, that spells trouble too. Man, we gotta find some we gotta find some stuff. What is this? Oh. Oh boy, no, they're already after me. <laughs> they're already on their way. Uh, how about no? I'm not. Uh, it looks promising, but like, it, well, do you guys shoot? You guys don't shoot fireworks. Man, the ones that shoot fireworks, I can't. Those guys are. Ow! No, never mind. Oof! I'm already almost dead. I've got to make some armor. I got to make like full, full armor real quick. All right. Much better. Much better. Also, while I'm here, might as well make this. <sighs> This is going to make my life a little bit easier as well. There we go. Throw that in the offhand, and we are much, much safer now. I, at least I think so. Now, my wonder is, can we break spawners? That's what I want to know. Can we break spawners? I hear zombies, and zombies are not a, a huge threat to me. At least I don't think so. Oh boy. Dude, he is large. What is making them larger? Okay. Nope. <laughs> also, we have a rocket guy somewhere. Dude, he is large. Okay. I thought we would be fine, but we are not fine going in there. We're gonna have to get better gear or something. Found another one of these towers, which probably means another, yep, another waystone. And an ender pearl. Okay, an ender pearl, another compass, more iron. Everything else is nah, not really after it. Now the waystone's a different story. Um I'm gonna have so many waystones. <gasps> Ooh, there's something over here, but those look awfully similar to the pillager things. Hmm. You know what I think about when I see these? Beep me. Sorry if nobody gets that reference. <laughs> this is not good. Um, not good. There is a spawner, and it spawned this guy with an axe. Uh, hopefully you're not too tough. Okay. But can I get in there and break that spawner? I wouldn't know. Can we break them? Yes. Okay. Whew. So that spawner's gone. Uh, there's a spawner here. Oh. Okay. 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 You've got a big axe. That axe does not look vanilla. Ooh. Now I have a big axe. A vindicator axe. Oh! It spawned right in front of me. Oh no. <laughs> no. Wait. How did it? What? This is still alive. Wait, how did one spawn there? Kill it! Kill it! Not me! Uh-uh! <laughs> they're both enchanted. That's not fair. Man, there's so many pillagers. Oh, now they're not synchronized. There we go. <laughs> so much combat early on. I haven't even gotten started in this pack. Ugh! Come on. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Oh, get rid of you. Okay. Speed run. Speed run in here. Break it. Speed run over here. Get past this guy. Break it. Ugh. Oh, shoot. There's another one right here. Break it. Oh, no. We're going to die. No. Not today. Not today. I'm trying my best to complete this without dying. I probably need to heal up. Heal up with some bread. I don't even know if that's all of them. That may not be all of them. <laughs> oh, these, these guys hit so hard. I can't afford to take another hit. I can't afford to take a shot from you either. 
Oh boy. This is getting rough. Nope. Cannot stop. Ooh, that's that hits pretty good. Ooh, it's 11 damage. I know it's about to break. Oh man. All right, there's like one more spawner that was over here, right? This thing right here. Whew. Okay, we broke the spawner's broken. Now, it, please be good loot in here. Otherwise, this was not worth it. Did I despawnerize this place? Because I would hate for more things to spawn right on me. Because this is a whole camp. This is like everything you need. Hope we just PvP'd this, uh, or PvE'd this join up. Oh, I hear him. Is that the same one that hit me earlier? It's payback. What you get? All right, let's loot this thing. I don't hear anything. Oh, got you. Yeah, you're out of here. Get lost. All right, so we got a chest. Oh, yeah, we've definitely hit the jackpot. Okay. Per oh, man. Definitely have hit the jackpot. Protection. This says mending. Oh, man. I need to, like, sort all this stuff. Wow. Illager's Bane? Yes. I'll take that. Some bottles of enchanting. Oh, man. This might actually become our, our camp. Our base of operations. So long as it's relatively safe here. We got, like, just about everything we need. Look, look at all this iron. So much iron. Yeah, this is... This is nice. Let's check the other area. For more loot. They were protecting this for some reason. This is fire protection. Mending. Alright, nothing in that. What is this? Oh, it looks like a little iron chest. Um... And then this cart, which... Does this have stuff in it? Ooh, it has barrels of stuff in it. Are they hiding something behind this barrel? What is hiding behind barrel number two? Oh, that's all where all their goods were hiding. Look at all them carrots and stuff. I think this is going to be a perfect base of operations for getting started with better Minecraft. Now, of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And then, of course is going to be a huge thanks to Matthew Pruitt. Thank you so much for your amazing patronage over on Patreon. And of course, guys, if you're interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, of course, you can find that linked down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this mod pack. Hope you're enjoying this so far. Of course, there's a lot more adventure to come, and I can't wait to go adventuring with you guys. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Let's see if we can maybe surpass 10,000 thumbs up can we can we get 10,000 thumbs up on this video let's see if we can do that that would be absolutely amazing I think you guys can do it like I think you know what I know you guys can do it I trust in you guys anyways if you haven't subscribed already I highly recommend doing so as well and guys I'll see you in the next episode and as always thanks for watching